So I made a few changes to the script, let me give you a quick guided tour. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now just in case you're unaware or you haven't seen the video, I made a very quick script that essentially aligns the viewport and locks the camera. Now this can be achieved by pressing Ctrl, Alt and Numpad 1. As you can see here, it automatically aligns the viewport and it locks the camera and this just means navigating the camera is just a little bit quicker to be honest. Now with the old version you could toggle the lock on and off up the top right. I've now changed the icon to a camera so this will toggle the lock view on and off, nice and easy. But you may have noticed that there is a few additional options here. Now this is actually coming from feedback and a few feature requests by a couple of users. Thought I would implement them. It is version 2, it is available for free on Gumroad if you want to check it out. You're more than welcome. So the first option in the UI is toggle quad view. Now I'm fully aware there is a shortcut for this and there is a menu item. You could even add it to quick favourites, but the user wanted a quick toggle button, so there we go. So this will toggle quad view nice and easily. Now the next option is one that I actually use quite a lot. And what this does is it essentially opens up a new window and it opens up the shader editor window. And this is good if you just want to quickly edit a material, you don't want to go into material properties, you don't want to go into shader editor and it just opens a new window, nice and easy to be honest. Now I need to apologise, I do not know how to align the window, so ideally you would like it aligned in the centre, but hey, every time you open it, it'll open up the top right. Now if you're not a fan of the shader editor open, what you can actually do is manipulate the script. So if you open up the Python file, and I think it's line 348, you can see here area.ui type shader node editor. Now this can be changed to pretty much anything that opens, so just to give you an example, if we go into the image editor, and then we go into scripting, you'll see down the bottom BPY context area type image editor. So you can change the image editor for something like this, and that means you can open anything up, and that's just a quick way to do stuff. So let's quickly go back in and check the last couple of options. Now, this is my favourite, and I use this all the time, especially with CAD data. So if you select an object, you can see here we can add the name to the object. Now, on the grand scale of life, it's not the best thing. But it just saves you getting into the options, getting into visibility options, uh, viewport display rather, and enabling the name. And again, you can uncheck it here as well. The good thing about this is, if you actually do a multiple select and then do it, we'll actually put the names on and off, and you can quickly toggle these. And when you have thousands of files, especially when you're using CAD data, it does come in handy. And that is pretty much the updates to the script. Again, I'm not a big fan of adding loads of things to the UI, but there is version 1, and that kind of keeps the interface a little bit cleaner if you want to use that instead. And that's been pretty much it. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.